Hello guys, uh, this is a, a new series I'm starting on Monstack uh, because uh, Mon is really a training right now, uh, especially in my country. So uh, I'd like to make this video and share my knowledge with you. So basically, Monstack, Mons means MongoDB for document database, E for Express, Node.js web framework, and R for React, a client size JavaScript framework, and and for node the premium javascript version so mon is really uh, really useful for making a single page application and and this is really fast and also uh, no, uh, neat and clean to code and there is a too many benefits of using a mon stack over on other technology but uh, i think i'm not gonna mention those because for here because that will make this video too long so Maybe on later, but you can do some here. Uh, more research as well. So there is and there is always a question there: Is mon is better or does mean is better? Basically, the difference is only uh, front end uh, framework or technology we use. That is, in mon we use uh, React, and on Angular we use uh, we uh, sorry on 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 more main we use Angular as a front end technology. So I'm I, uh, personally I prefer Mon stack over Min stack because I'm more of a React kind of guy and also there is a benefit of using a React because if you use React or if you use Mon stack you can also get your hand on uh, Android as uh, sorry mobile devices as I mean both Android and iOS as a React native developer because if you learn React and Mon stack uh, there is not a different too many different in React Native, so you can just switch in a week or month. So I suggest you guys to learn Moon Stack over uh, Min Stack, but it really depends on your the area you are living and the place you are, then the technology uh, turning right now in your marketplace on your on your local in local place. So in my country, the currently the most uh, training uh, framework uh, technology is Moon Stack. So this video is about Monstack. So, in Monstack, I think uh, everybody is much familiar with uh, basic Mon. So, I'm just gonna, uh, in this video, I'm just gonna tell a bit uh, introduction and project setup of our Mon. So, this is a project we're gonna build. Uh, this is a resume portfolio site, as you can see. We're gonna build this on Monstack. So, uh, this is a paid theme. Uh, you can follow. I'm gonna provide my Facebook link and uh, my um, YouTube link. I'm, I'm sure you're gonna have that YouTube link when you're watching this video. Yeah. So follow, subscribe me on YouTube, and follow and miss DM me on my uh, Facebook link, Facebook page. Uh, like my Facebook page and DM me there. Then for this paid theme, I'm gonna provide you for free. So just uh, subscribe to my channel and like my facebook page and this is me on facebook and i'm gonna uh, give you this zip file this is a paid theme and this is a really good frame uh, theme as well so this is a project we're gonna build so first of all go to your uh sub uh visual code i must prefer this is the best uh this is the best idea for month stack development so go to there, create one folder, empty folder, I just created a uh, YouTube CV. So on that folder, sorry, I'll write npm init. So what it does, will it will initialize npm and create a package that is running here. So in package name, uh, let me uh, write like YouTube CV. And then version, you can enter, uh, just press enter, then description also press enter. You can also write there, but there is no need for it. Just hit enter, then hit enter. Uh, then also you can write uh, push your name. I'm gonna put my name here. Yeah. So yeah. So hit enter. So you can see package of this one is created. Here name, version description. This was the point you were uh, asked to type in here in your at home, you know. So as you can see it's here. So now Another thing you need is uh, you need to install uh, Express. So for that, use this command npm express. Sorry, 
npm i sorry man my keyboard is not uh, functioning well npm i express it might take a while so i'm going to pause the video until it's uh it's completely over all right introduction is done as you can see there is a folder called node module uh, it's come because of this npm express install install express then uh, what you got to do is create your uh, your file called app.js this is a file now sorry for the noise there is too many noise right now what's going on here so first of all uh, you think you have to do is uh, define a constant name uh, express then require it It's like importing uh, this li it's file from this uh, library, so it's like uh, getting this express. We can use this express function uh, functionality of this express of the IP of this library. So I got that. Define a constant app, then express. Now what you gotta do is uh, uh, define a uh, route. Let's call it. This is the arrow function. So in this, uh, this is a route so let me so let's console the log and print something this is home base so in here it has the two property first of all a route name so let me just call it the home page so here it is so this is the route name so it will have the two property let it request and response so it's like a same uh, same as in laravel if you knew laravel so routing is the same kind of thing uh, we just uh, give a regular name then uh, request response and controller and this part logic so this is a basic ground we can will do this later on separate file as a controller but uh, it's just for basic knowledge for right now so after that, start server. So one thing that different in Node.js or Monstack is then in other framework with this uh, a lot of is a lot of that you don't have to. So different between other framework, Monstack and other framework like Laravel is that in Laravel you don't have to create uh, your own server, but in Monstack you have to uh, create server by yourself. But in a lot of other frameworks like Laravel, you just have to use PHP Artin Server and it will create a server for you. So for create starting a server, uh, there is a for, uh, I'm just gonna copy this. You can write as well, but uh, you can just copy it and then remove this two part. Then remove this two part and then in remove this part as well and give a port number you can give any port number here and then on git and this and in here this is a type server started now go here and then write node app npm start wait a minute sorry there was some typing error because my keyboard is not uh, working as the uh, express so run this you just type node app dot js express is not defined 
acquire exp addresses exp addresses exp r as i told you my q r button r is not working so i'm having trouble there so as you can see cr cr service padding uh, let me show you so node advert this as you can see port 80000 service started so now you can check uh, by using this route so go to your browser of any then type localhost 8080 80, 80, this report is created and then type home page this is your route we have using So go to your browser and then type this localhost uh, 8000 slash home page. So it's just uh, showing loading because, uh, but we have we need to uh, look for this. This is home page. So as you can see console, there is uh, there is a message called this is the home page when we enter this home page in yard. So this is working to show on home page. So on our browser we have a type place is and then this is home page now stop it and run your app now go to your see you can tell this message appearing now also there is this is appearing because of uh, is the response is the same and this is coming because of console.log so if you put console.log it will show on terminal but if you put a, a response dot send this will be appear on your browser so that's it for this video so again if you need this thing. yeah